Hi there. How are you doing? So I'm going to show you guys on how to use Blender as a beginner in drawing carpet design. So um, without further ado, we'll begin um, showing you right now. All right. You have these. When you open up your file, uh, make sure you go to new and then select on 2D animation over here. Once you click on it, uh, you'll be able to see a canvas, uh, which is in white color here. So uh, there's no difference when you're using a, a 2D animation in Blender. Uh, again, Blender is a 3D tool. And what I'm trying to show you is if I'm going to um, click on this one and I'm pulling out, you're going to see something. There's a grid showing over here. And then there's a camera going on here. Okay. The reason is because um, we're working on a 3D, uh, a 3D software, um, but at the same time, Blender is giving uh, you the tool to be able to, to design in 3D. Okay, if I click on this toggle camera view over here, it's going to go back to the canvas. All right, um, just be sure uh, every time when you work on your um, 2D animation, you're always going to need a camera over here. And then you always want to toggle your camera. Um, so it's just basically focus on uh, the canvas itself here. Okay. So um, again, um, what Blender can do is uh, it has a grease pencil. So grease pencil is basically allow us to draw on the, two, on the canvas here. So in, a, in any 3D viewport, it just allowed us to be able to draw it. Now, um, I think Blender is the only software that allows you to do that. Uh, I'm not sure are there uh, 3D software, but as far as I know, uh, you can do a lot of stuff here on Blender. Not just um, doing a 2D design here. Okay, so how, do, how can I, um, why is Grease Pencil. Grease Pencil is more like um, when you click on this one here, you go to uh, Shift A, and then when you start uh, select on Grease Pencil over here, you're going to see uh, Stroke. Okay, so when you hit on, hit on Stroke over here, it just basically show you something that's um, uh, basically a, de a default uh, sketch of allow me allowing you to start drawing in a 2d format okay so you're always going to begin with something with stroke anything that you create uh, a drawing tool on this panel here is just basically using a grease pencil okay just want to note you guys on that okay so i'm going to delete the uh the stroke one since i have one already and I also want to share with you uh, regards over here. Um, just be sure that you want to get on the drawing mode. Okay. Uh, but you have you have to select stroke first. Uh, once you select stroke, you'll be able to see a draw mode. If you're not selecting uh, the stroke, you're not going to see it here. Um, you, want, you want to make sure you're on draw. And then... Um, Secondly, you want to make sure that you want to kind of want to know that whenever you're drawing on um, on the canvas over here, you need uh, a layer. Just like Photoshop, uh, Blender uh, is basically using layers when you're drawing uh, every um, when you're drawing every every design in in a layer. Okay, so I'm going to show you one example here. So if I click on the pencil here, okay, and and then I'll make sure um, I'm on the radius. Uh, radius is uh, is to determine how big your brush is going to be, and then the strength is going to be um, pretty much like the the pressure that you're going to be drawing on on the uh, on the design panel here. Um, I also want to make sure that um, if I click on the materials over here, um, you wanna you wanna make sure you're on the solid stroke, okay? 
and then the line type would be uh, line style will be again uh, solid okay so the base color is the color that you're gonna be drawing out so I'm just gonna give you an example here and if I do one stroke you're gonna see that um, I just clearly create um, you know drawings over here okay you kind of see that it's kind of a little bit transparent here the reason why is because we're using pencil okay but if you want to use a different selection let's say you want to use an ink pen you can see that uh, this one is a little bit uh, it's much more darker than pencil okay um, just to note that uh, whenever you are drawing um, on um, on the canvas here you want to make sure that um, whatever you want to sketch it, it is entirely up to you so usually when I when I start drawing I use pencil just to sketch out uh, something what I had my what what is it's gonna be in my my mind so um, you can also um, go to the, the the tap on the on top here uh, called the tool okay and then you want to select the brush settings here to be able to adjust your pen so if you click all the way up here um, it's just gonna allow you to have some sort of control whenever you uh, create your um, your drawings here so for me uh, I like to have it a little bit more like a, a pencil kind of effect so I'm just gonna pull it down here just to give it a little bit of um, um, sort of like a taper kind of look so I'm gonna maybe I'm just gonna find it out here yeah something like this would be great okay so I'm just gonna do like this and it just allowed me to have some sort of like a, a really nice fine line whenever I draw it on you know on the canvas here so what I did was um I I just hit tap uh I just moving way too fast I go tap here which is going to be the edit mode and I select all of them uh, on the select box and then I hit delete and then I click on points and that's uh, basically how I erase um the drawing that I just uh, previously made um, over here I just want to go up here just to uh, give it a little bit more darker if I give it a little bit more downwards here it was just gonna be very light I don't want that I just want a little bit more darker so whenever I draw it I uh, just give me a really nice fine line a little bit more like a, a pencil effect maybe like a, a 2b kind of uh, drawing I mean kind of let pencil in 2d I mean 2b okay not as in uh, H kind of pencil basically all right so now I'm gonna demonstrate something uh, what I can do here so I'm just gonna go here uh, and erase it uh, so if I'm gonna erase it I can click on this one here click on the, the erase here and just just brush it all down i can increase my strength as well and brush it all down like this okay you can also use uh control as well like if you're using draw you just if you're on drawing mode uh you can click on control and then just do that and it's just gonna wipe it out itself um Sometimes you notice there's a line that's created over here. The reason is because uh, it's not fully uh, erased. So what you can do is sometimes you can go to tap on uh, to get it to edit mode, and then you just select uh, those the lines that you can see over here, and then you just hit delete. And now I'm gonna select points, and that's how you clear it out everything. And I'm gonna do this one as well just to make it cleaner. Okay, so um. The next thing what I want to do now is I, I want to draw uh, maybe like a, a cartoon face of a character. So let's get started. The first thing what I want to do here is I'm just going to create a rough layer. And the fills over here we we'll call it color. And then I'm going to add another one. Um, what's going to be called ink. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, probably I'm gonna pull this one up here 
select this one. Okay, just pull it up. And then uh, note that every layer that you want to create, you, uh, you want to make sure that you click on the plus sign here, add new layer, so that uh, whatever you, you create one, it just uh, popped out over here. You can always erase it by clicking on the minus sign here. So it just basically removed it. Okay, so all these uh, frames uh, that you see with a number, they're actually frames for they are sorry they are actually animation frame so which means whenever you start doing animation all these frames are going to be readable so when you hit play you can see the anchor here is kind of like going forward through the numbers and that's how the animation is going to play out from here okay all right so we're just going to get get it on on the one first uh and probably we're just going to give it to 20. Uh, just pretend that you you just work on twenty papers uh, in a in a traditional kind of drawing. So um, we'll start using the rough here, and then the ink. I'm uh, just probably gonna lock it up since I'm not using it, as well as the color. Uh, the this for the solid stroke, I probably uh, want to create. Um, I probably want to make another one for just make another one just call it a uh, blue stroke and then this one will call it a uh, black stroke okay the black stroke means um, when you about to draw out your fine lines uh, you can you can have uh, many select selection of colors so the stroke over here I can get it to maybe like a, a lighter blue color okay so uh let me explain with the square stroke here the square stroke is uh what what it meant is whenever you start drawing here um you kind of see that sorry uh make sure it's on pencil mark here and one here oh sorry it has to be on this one here uh, make sure you just have to get it onto the shading mode here. Uh, try not to get to the wireframe because if you get on the wireframe, you just basically see uh, nothing pretty much. So just to draw that out. So you see that when I start uh, drawing the stroke here, you can you kind of see the squares coming out here. The reason is because your line type is square. Okay. So if you put it to dots. It kind of like circulates the uh, the stroke, okay, just like that. Uh, some people prefer using like uh like this one here, maybe for a comic book or something. Uh, you know that that try to balance out their colors or their ink, so they have uh, dots working out here. So for me, I prefer using a uh, line, so I'm just gonna keep it as a line. So you can see that uh, wherever information I just changes, uh, change it, it becomes a line basically. Okay, so just a quick reminder. Uh, note that anything that you cha make changes over here, it'll it'll affect it here. So uh, just be careful whenever you are uh, working on you know the materials like, like this. Again, you can always create a new materials and redefine. Uh, the whole settings here and then they'll, they'll allow you uh, in the full control of drawing your your uh, your, uh, your character character design of course um fill will be later uh, because fill i'm just going to show you a little bit so fill is pretty much like if you're drawing on um anything that you kind of want to create a shape it just help you to define everything that you just um you know anything that you just cr create the <clears throat> create the design or create the drawings it just help you to fill up everything uh which i i think this is very helpful uh when you doing on a color process and you know uh it also allows you to make changes with the color which is really nice 
uh, tool to have one like this. So whenever any mistake that you create, you can always uh, erase it and, you know, you, you, you can make changes with, you know, uh, the color. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, I'm going to clear it out. And the dot stroke, as I already mentioned already, I'm not going to be using it. So I'm just going to leave it as color. So now what I want to show you is uh, we're going to create something, okay, uh, with our, um, we're just going to do some demo for a cartoon character, basically. So anything that you want to uh want to, sh to see so um gonna do it from there. Okay. Alright, so now what I want to do is um I'm gonna start working on my character. So I'm just gonna give it like a straight up like this. Okay, and the brush probably is a little bit too thin. I might want to increase that a bit so that I can move my pressure. All right, so now I'm just going to make that the go. Okay, so that's just basically my raccoon character, basically what i'm trying to make um see i'm doing really fast over here is because uh i've been i've been doing this for, for a while so um since it's for the video purposes i i'm just gonna slow it down a little bit okay so that's that's how when you uh work on a, a pencil like this uh, it's just giving you a, an effect of like um, like a like a strong stroke of, of like a pencil like a very thick pencil of course okay you can always uh, delete it if you don't like it do it that way and the eye is going to go like this So, uh, just pretty easy. I'm I'm just simplify it basically. So like anything that you you kind of draw it, uh, you know. Uh, always always start to to use um, a simple tool. Use um, basically a pencil that that will just gonna help you out working and. Just to make sure you want to work with them layers so that if the layer that you work on you kind of like the form of it you can always um you can always leave it there so that the next layer you can always um define it okay so what i want to do now is i probably want to make another character space maybe like this one here This one's a fox character. Oh, sorry. Clicking on there. Now you want to be careful on hitting on this um, 3D view. Uh, we call it gizmo uh, whenever you start drawing. I I, I would say uh, try to hide it by um, just going on over here and uh, not this. Sorry. Uh, just going on this one here and you just basically uh, uh click the navigate okay and it will just hide hide it from there you can always show it back just click on the navigate and we're just going to pop it out here all right so we just um it's much more 
safer. Okay, some the stroke could be very um you know strong over here, so uh just be careful when you whenever you um creating a stroke. Um my my way of drawing uh usually goes really hot stroke, so uh you know it's it's kind of like um you know it's it just it just your style i would say so if you're very aggressive um i would say you know uh try not to do it in in a rough sketch here um yeah otherwise it'll it'll be hard to look at you know the lines especially that you'll be working on so i'm just gonna do it like this this is um she had a really small jaw over here compared to uh, my raccoon character all right so we just leave it that way and okay all right so what i'm about to do now is i just want to um show you something uh additional uh let's say that whenever you draw uh, a character or a face or something maybe you want to draw multiple drawings uh on one canvas here but you you kind of like fill up the whole thing here uh but the good thing about Blender is you can always scale those drawings that you just created here. So I'll just give you an example. So if you hit tap, which is the edit, going to the edit mode, um, you want to go to the select box and just select the whole thing here. Okay. And then you just press S so, or just click on the scale over here and just um, scale them down basically. Okay. Or you can press S as in scale and make it smaller here okay but for me i like it to be somewhere over here i just want to position it so these two characters are um basically have to balance make sure i select all of it here and just increase the scale a little bit more and there you have it here okay so that's this just pretty much uh, what you can do here with your uh, using Blender, of course, whenever you want to move the character, uh, if it's not positioned well, you can do that uh, you, uh, using Blender. All right, so what I want to do now is I just want to um, create the ink for these two characters here. So now we're just going to lock the rock here and then we just want to use the ink. Okay. So the ink, I can um, actually, uh, the, the ink here, I can tone it down and I'll just make it like a zero point, I would say maybe zero point thirty five somewhere. I'm just gonna leave it a little bit more lower. I'm just gonna lower down to opacity. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then I'll just uh, focus on stroking the the final lines of the uh, um, of the character. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna change it to a ink pen here. And then now what I want to do is I'm just gonna go and give it a really um radius so i can uh, control that again the radius i can always adjust it uh maybe just maybe here we could i think it's about correct so i'm just gonna do it like that okay so what i did currently is basically um i'm just holding shift and i just pull it all right and then it's just gonna give me a really nice curve basically if i want to if i want to do curve 
um, you can hold shift and just draw it because if you draw it without using curve uh, for example like if you're going like this uh, it may not gonna get you the result but if you try and use curve it just give you a really nice fine line going all the way in arcs otherwise if you want to use the whole thing uh, in a stroke you can use the stabilized stroke so what it does is basically uh, it's gonna be it's gonna lazy it be a it's gonna be be more like a lazy stroke so whenever you draw a stroke like that it's gonna it's just gonna fall through you can see that whenever you draw it on the on the cursor that i just draw it here it just basically like um two seconds slower while it's continuing on and this and this just basically give a really nice final lines whenever you, you work on this you can always adjust it by using the factor okay or that you can see that it's much more faster here so if i go it to uh 999 it could become much more slower okay so that's how you work on it using um established stroke here so we'll just do that But for me, I'm not going to use uh, too much on the stabilized stroke here. Um, I'm just going to uncheck it. Uh, also, I have to um, make changes on it. If I'm going to reset it, I'm just going to right click on it and hit reset to the default value. And just give me um, that 0 0.9. So yeah it, it gets me back to the uh, previous position make sure i uncheck that one Trying to have everything uh, in a nice curve. At least some art going on here would be great. When you draw out your, um, your design of the character. So I'm just going to leave uh, something over here. No, just leave it there like this. Don't want to get it too creative um, since we're just doing the basics here. Okay, so what I want to do next one is uh, this one is uh, this character as well. Uh, I'm just going to finalize it. So you can see whatever I'm working with the ink pen here, it just gives me a really nice final lines, which whenever you work on an anime or a cartoon here, it just uh, really helps a lot, especially when you guys uh, are really interested in just drawing other than doing uh, 3D animation. Uh, it, again, it comes to your medium. If your medium is much more focused on uh, 2D animation, uh, you know, Blender has all the settings here that you can do. Or, you know, other software you can uh, may, may be able to help you out a bit there. Um, again, it comes to you, uh, if you're, if you're a PC user, um, yeah, definitely you want to use Blender, but if you're using a tablet, you can use, uh, software like Procreate, uh, which that one I haven't, I never, I never use it. I heard, um, they're really good tools for, um, uh, 2D artists, basically for animators so uh, you might want to look at that on that one but other than that uh, what I want to show you today is all about blender um, so we're just gonna focus on that for now okay so um, so once you see um, the result that I've made here uh, we just basically had all the uh, uh, the lines I, that I just created here 
So what I want to do now with this character is to be able to have some color on it. Uh, maybe just so I want to see the eye. Yeah, I just want to see the eye here. Yeah, probably like this. Okay, so we're just gonna give him some color here. Uh, what I want to do is I'm gonna go to uh, the next color, the next layer, which is the color layer. I'm gonna lock this this two, um, and then now I'm gonna focus on the color. Okay, so what I want to do now is I can hide the rock since I'm not using the rock anymore. So. Um, for the color, uh, if you go into the material mode here, you can see that you you wanna you kind of wanna create uh, the color uh, the colors from either strokes or fill. Okay. I also want to let you know that uh, you have two selections on doing um, a color. So if you are just painting on a canvas without animating the character. It's what um, you can use uh, the paint mode over here. So you have kind you kind of have like two selection going on here, which is the material mode here, and then there is a paint mode over here. So so like the color they, they'll call it the color attribute I'll say. Yeah. So that's the uh, color attribute. So the color attribute doesn't uh, um, doesn't be it. It doesn't help you to change uh, your color while you have the, the characters in place with the color. Okay, I'm just going to show the, you the example, um, not trying to confuse you. Um, all right, let's keep it that way here. And we just do that. Maybe, um, yeah, Lorraine's is kind of, I mean, the, the raccoon is kind of like um, a little bit more on let's see it's going to fill here um yeah if if i start drawing here you can see that the color is shown here all right so if i change to brown it's just never going to change it okay so that it's kind of like replacing it but you cannot uh, be able to change whatever color you just made okay so uh trying to make the decision on the color first and then once you kind of pick on the color that you really want so let's say i'm just going to give him a little bit of a reddish here or like a, a dark reddish brown here okay all right so once you kind of decide this color is what you want to go for, you can always save it by clicking on the plus sign here. And the palette is just basically created here. All right. Um, and you can do multiple palettes, uh, whatever you would like to. So um, I'm going to create another one here just for his uh, primary color. Um, so this one will be the one probably. Let's see if it works out. Okay, so it seems like it works out for me. I'm just going to save it by hitting the plus sign here, and it's just basically there. Okay, so like it, it works for painter, uh, you know, especially if you want to just paint on um, on the digital, you know, software like Blender. You can uh, use this method. Okay, I'm just going to fill up the whole thing here. And then we'll just pick on this one. Okay. And then we're just gonna finish this one up all the way to the ear over here. And I'm just gonna go here like that.
Okay, so now what I want to do is to uh, finish up the uh, the head. I mean the eye. So the eye, I can probably um, switch it. You know, you can switch color as well. So I'll just give it um, maybe a darker black, I mean, a lighter black, so I can see the outline. Okay, and then uh, as for the white color, probably just give it that. Okay, just for you know, um, a drawing purposes, just a demo. You know, it's nothing uh, too fancy about the drawings that I created here. So, um, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, that's that's how you work on um, a, using the color attribute here. So whenever you are uh, work on just the the design itself, uh, basically. Okay. Again, you can switch it to stroke. Uh, I mean, like uh, whenever you're working on, you know. A color you can you can use stroke as well but since i'm using fill uh it was just gonna turn it off basically all right you can use stroke just to like color all the way down uh if you don't if you're not big, a big fan of using fill you know i'm just showing you an example like you want to use stroke you can do so like this okay so it just basically um fill out the color okay so um which is what i'm going to show you on the uh, drawings on second character over here uh, the fox character so um the what i want to show you the next one is gonna be um using the material so um let's say you you want to use um you're doing animation right now and you want to keep all the data all the information um so that uh, whenever you work on the next frame, the, the color is going to show up uh, the same one as the previous one. Okay, so uh, I prefer you guys if you're when you're doing animation on a particular shot of a character, and it's going to go every frame, and the character uh, we we're going to be consistently follow with you know its own color uh, is the best thing that you're going to be switching on to material okay do not use uh, color attribute you you just have to use the uh, material okay um so what i want to show you now is putting color onto the fox character so i'm just going to name it uh i'm just going to name it orange you know um just for you know um a purpose for whenever I want to find the color name it's just going to be there um and then I'm going to have a brown or yeah just put it black uh, with the um, eye and yeah probably we'll just give it a try on I'm using that okay for this one i'm just going to show you um um sorry about that i uh, shouldn't be this one here let's leave that one alone because i work it out on um this is um the raccoon okay and then materials over here um gonna be I'll just name it instead. Um, black, white, and then I'm just gonna call it um, orange. Okay, so um, they're just basically strokes. Uh, they're not fill. Okay, I'm just gonna show you like um, you can do that as uh, as well. Uh, just to make sure, if you're using stroke, it's just gonna be stroke. Uh, if you want to change it fill to fill, my best bet is that you will have to create um, 
and other material for the fill. So stick it up to uh, whatever preference you want to use. Um, but if you want to go with stroke, just go ahead. But if you working on uh, animation frame uh, of every character's movement, uh, try to use fill. Okay, so I use stroke for now. Okay, so we kind of use um, orange color for this one. So let's change to marker bold. Okay, uh, marker bold, you kind of realize when you start drawing on it, it's kind of look like transparent. And then also it's kind of look like it's, uh, it kind of overlay out the, uh, or it's kind of, you know, overlap the color you might want to um you know it, it just won't, won't gonna help you out even though you do like a uh, self overlap but you know the reason is because the string is 0 0.3 okay what you want to do is you want to click it to one so that when you start drawing on it you just basically uh, um have no um transparency going on so which is uh, my favorite tool when I start to uh, color the whole thing on here. Um, again, uh, try to just change it to white here. Okay, try to um, work the best you could. Um, I basically using um, round instead of round, use flat would be better. So I'm just gonna go out like this, and then I can do reduce the radius so that I'm not going to draw out of the um, the line here. So this one I'm just going to fill it out here. Okay, so that's pretty much what we want. Again, when you're doing on a traditional set, um, like if you guys are um, a, an artist or using marker pens or you know, something like Sharpie or anything in general with that kind of medium, uh, this is pretty much the same approach when you work on um, any color, any, um, you know, any practices like this. So, um, white so I can probably fill this up. Since uh, my background is white, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna fill everything entirely. But if you are working on uh, anything with a background, the best bet you would just have to do to color that in white. Okay. So if you, if I go to the uh, the center piece over here, I mean the center cap over here, uh, probably the world property map sorry the world uh, properties over here um if you click on the color and make it black you can see that um you know those color over here did not insert it so i will say the best thing what you want to do is to insert the colors on it okay otherwise when you're going to render out you know it's going to be it's going to be rough you know Um, I'm just going to do that. Okay. Just like that. Um, well, I'm just going to do the same thing for this one here. Um, the raccoon, make sure he's filled out as well. It's a good exercise when you do something like this um, so that whenever you're working on, you know, working on an animation frame, uh, it's, a, it's a lot uh, better to do this kind of practice. Um, pretty much like if you're doing by yourself, on 
on the software like this, you, you will have to, you know, make sure which one you'll be using. Or is the color fully filled up, right? So, yeah, just be sure to have those. All right, so what I'm going to do now is um, I was just going to go back to uh, my, my previous character over here. And I want to go and finish the whole thing here. And then once I have that, I'll just uh, um, do the next one. So uh, I'm going to fill this one as well for the eye. So the eye is going to fill up here. And that'll just pretty much it. And um, I also want to fill it out with uh, the nose here. Uh, the nose would need probably like um, a really dark brown. Yeah, because I keep thinking uh, like why, what color should I have later on. Um, Besides using the orange, so what I want to do is just color it off here, okay, just like that. Okay, again, you can change the color. Uh, you know, if you want to, let's say the black doesn't work out, maybe you can um, have it brown or make it um, blue if you want it, or you know, either way, I can uh, have the uh, decision to change whatever color I wanted wanted it to have okay so we'll just do that instead cool. all right so the next thing um what I want to do is just to make sure that you don't want to get something going on here uh I'm just gonna go with lasso here select the parts over here you know some of the parts usually don't really want to get involved here or sometimes I will just uh, erase it slowly by slowly. Just erase it here. Yeah, sometimes it's a bug here. And just be careful when you're drawing out of the line. All right. And that's how uh, we work on uh, a 2D character. Okay, so let's get it back to the white background here. So as you can see, uh, I'll put it maybe like grayish color. As you can see now, uh, you kind of established the color already. Um, what you want to do now is uh, you probably want to add like, um, hmm, it's going to uh, dark and brown. Okay, so as you can see, you know, your your color is kind of like um, uh, really created already. So what you want to do now is to put light onto the character. Okay, so so to do that is what you're going to do is um, if you see on the, um, the, the, the fourth sphere here, which is called the, uh, the render shading. So in a shading mode, you have uh, four kinds of shading. One is the wireframe, and then the other one is the object, and then the next one is going to be the uh, the viewport. I mean, sorry, the uh, the color shading, um, and then the last one is going to be the render shading. The render shading is the one that you render it out in the final piece, and that just look the way it is. Um, what I want to show you uh, with render shading here is if you want to add lighting okay you have two methods especially when you work on lighting is that if i click on a plus sign here um to get a new layer let's call it light here and then what you want to do is you create another one we'll just call it uh a light here just, just for a demo basically Okay, for a light, and then next one, what I want to do is 
I'm just gonna give the base color uh maybe I'll just give it a bit of like uh something hazel color okay and then we'll just do that instead oops sorry must be on the light here and just, yep just check it out everything um, here should be fine okay uh i want to make sure oh yeah again uh you want to go to the material not the color attribute all right all right so you, when you get over here you kind of see that i'm kind of great the lighting over here and then you can see that's what it has over here okay all right just you can just pretty much manually create your own lighting the way you want it okay so you can also adjust it like i shown from before okay you can uh, create different kinds of variation of color you know depend on the environment uh, that looks okay or let's say if you want to if you want to have some help with the lighting um what i mean is that you don't want to work manually on the lighting here you have another option which is if you go to the object mode over here and then you go to the shift uh, you go to shift a um you can see on the light here okay you have um you know four to five different point uh different lights that be able to create for the character so we'll just use point light here okay uh and then you see the light has been created over here that's the point light so if i hit to 100 you're gonna see the light's gonna show up so seems like it doesn't show up the reason is because if you go uh to the 3d view the light is on the um on the drawing itself here okay so what you want to do is you want to pull it out and then you kind of see the colors showing up here all right so you kind of see it over here so let's pull it put it out a little bit more and then go back to the uh camera view you can see that the color just i mean i'm sorry the, the lighting just showing up here and you can pull it around okay the lighting you can always uh put in a high value all right but just try to adjust it if you're not um uh, you know if you don't want to give it too bright just um, you can always control it back and then the color of the light you can always change it to like reddish um a reddish or bluish color you know dep again depending on the environment that your the character is going to be at right so that's just basically how you do uh it's not showing too much on the on the orange character it might be affecting a lot with the color so you just want to be careful with it also so if you get it on yellow you can see uh you know that it's going the way it should so now i already show you the lighting and then also with the um uh the colors and everything that i that you can see over here uh i think you can start out working on this as your example here uh just just to be sure that uh, the final uh, render uh, of the result is going to be this one here. Okay, so uh, just be sure whenever you want to uh, render it out, just click on the render here and hit the render image. Or hit F12, you should be able to see your character, um, your char your final character result from here. Okay, so. Yeah, so other than that, uh, I would like you to try it out and see what you have. Um, so anything that you want to question me, you can leave a comment on me. And you can always subscribe me to check more of my videos that's going to be coming up soon. So without further ado, uh, I guess that's it for today. See ya.